I want to go to a Fox News alert. There are reports tonight that ESPN has pulled a football announcer from an upcoming game because of his name, which is Robert Lee. The twist? Lee is an Asian man, not exactly your vision of an unreconstructed Confederate. Clay Travis is a journalist for Fox Sports, and he joins us tonight. Clay, thanks a lot for coming on tonight. So we saw this floating around the Internet right before airtime, and my instinct was this has got to be a hoax because it's too crazy. So we wanted to speak to you directly. What do you know about this? It's 100 percent true. Uh, and in fact, Tucker, ESPN has just issued a statement to me. If you want me to read it for you, I can do that. And the statement says as follows, and you may have it there to put on the screen as well. We collectively made the decision with Robert to switch games as the tragic events in Charlottesville were unfolding simply because of the coincidence of his name. In that moment, it felt right to all parties. It's a shame that this is even a topic of conversation. We regret that who calls play-by-play -play for a football comp game has become an issue. Is there any indication of how it became an issue? That suggests that, that some group had complained about having an Asian man named Robert Lee call a game. Do they it was say a discussion mutual within the company? I think they sat down with him and contemplated whether it was going to be awkward for somebody to be named Robert Lee to appear on uh, that the show calling the game. I think it's a sign of how ridiculous and absurd society has become that they made the decision that it was the right move to do this as opposed to just allowing people out there to think, you know what? This guy's probably not a Robert E. Lee ancestor, given the fact that he's an Asian guy, and also that it's been, you know, 150 some odd years since Robert E. Lee died. I think it's probably time we could get over it for a football game. Yeah, there he is. There's a picture of him right there. That is not the man who commanded the armies of the Confederacy, just so you know. Um, when you say they decided, can, do you know who would have made this decision? I mean, I'm assuming these are like not 22 year olds, these are executives? Yeah, I think it was executive consultation with the Robert Lee himself. Now, I don't know who would have had the final call. Uh, I, I don't think it was necessarily a mandate, but I think this is kind of an indictment of ESPN in general, right? Because what you need in this situation is somebody to be a reasonable person and say, wait a minute, do we really think that the average viewer is going to make the connection between an Asian guy calling a game and the former leader of the Army of Northern Virginia? Uh, in the Confederacy, in the Confederate Army. Do we really think this is a political statement that we're making? This makes it a bigger story than it ever would have been for an hour. People maybe made jokes about how Robert E. Lee snuck back into Charlottesville despite the fact that he was controversial. Instead, now we're probably going to be talking about how absurd this decision is for ESPN for a couple of days, to be honest. And frankly, it's emblematic of the world we've become that Onion headlines are even too ridiculous for real life headlines now. But it's also cruel, and there's a principle at stake. I mean, even if it was Robert E. Lee's great-grandson, he didn't do anything wrong, and you shouldn't punish people for something they didn't do. You shouldn't punish people because they look like someone else or sound like someone else. They're in a certain group. You should treat people as individuals. This is grotesque. D does this make you, I mean... Amen. Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry to lecture, but it, it does feel like one of those moments where, man, maybe things really are coming apart. Maybe the adults are crazy. Well, I think you, this is an important point to make about the sports media. I think there's a lot of discussion, Tucker, all the time about how liberal the political media is. Recent studies, you're going to be blown away by this. Do you know what percentage of people in the sports media voted for Donald Trump in this most recent election? Four percent, Tucker. Ninety-six percent of people voted against Donald Trump. This is how decisions like this get made. You have all these left-wing people sitting around saying, oh, my God, we're going to offend somebody and you don't have a reasonable, rational, middle-of-the-road person saying, wait a minute, are we really making the right decision here, or are we making this situation worse and making the country worse? Because people are just going to look at this and say, what in the world has happened that a situation exactly like this right. could occur? That's exactly right. Clay, I was, I was telling my producers, we cannot air this because it can't be real, and I just am grateful to you for <laughs> confirming it. I'm serious, conclusively. Thanks a lot for coming on. Appreciate it.